Hey anyone, how's it going? Welcome back to Avi on Camera, where today we're watching Pacific Rim The Black, Season 2, Episode 7. This is it. This is the finale of the show. And, well, another finale to Pacific Rim. I mean, this is how Pacific Rim has been, right? It's been stop, start, where originally it was just their first movie, then Uprising happened, and, well, it never continued, then we got this show... And I was super excited, and apparently we're done. Season 2, that's it. Thanks, Netflix. This is right after my last reaction, so I'm still not happy about Taylor and Haley's mom dying. If his, if their father didn't make it to Sydney base, after all, I will... I don't know what I'll do. Hopefully he's dead. I know that sounds weird, but hopefully he's dead, too. Apex. Uh, Apex was cool. I, I can, I'm fine with Apex, but that the mom thing, it, it still hurts. Really, it just hurts. <laughs> but, hey, <laughs> no more talking. Let's just get into the episode. This is it? Hmm? last time watching this opening to be fair it both feels cool and lackluster also i don't know why it's so grainy right it always makes me feel like there's something wrong with my screen final approach i'm afraid you're getting our top speed loa can you not help help loa i mean moving legs please tell me you could do that Take Don't take a break. It's all gonna be fine. You know he needs to turn back into boy. Back down just like you did last time. I mean, you hope he shrinks and back down. For some reason, you don't. I love you either way. I mean, that's really nice, Haley. But um, uh, the folks at Sydney Base, if they're alive, will shoot on sight. Sydney existed five years ago. Therefore, it is less. Lois, Loa, come on! I thought you had emotions. See myself actually finally getting there. I mean, that is true, right? You plot some place as the destination, right? The peaceful utopia. It's never gonna be that, right? Yeah, and that's why you should have taken a break, you fools. Oh, that thing can go underground too. Boy, can you go? Provide some cover. No, 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 help, please. I have to say, out of all the kaiju designs in the show, this one is the least kaiju like to me, right? It's not enough. It, it, it feels like a completely different type of monster. Thank you, boy. Good job, boy. Can we give him a real name, please? I've been oh, okay. angling for Kai wow. for a long time now. That is gonna come in handy. Is worth keeping around. What else did you think? He's a giant kaiju. He nearly kicked both your. He killed Apex, and he nearly killed you. Kaiju blood is a known performance enhancer. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's a nice no, moment. No. Between what you made the difference. We all did. I mean. <laughs> That's nice. Her hope was was great, but uh, she, if if she was allowed to be in charge, she would have. Oh, got it. So much bad. Summon the breacher. Summon the who now? Who the flip are you? The category six is on an intercept. Six. Wicked wish is bringing. Category six. The only other Category 6 was the Mega Kaiju in Pacific Rim Uprising. The Megazord Kaiju. Great. Hey, look, you're here, clacking along. Guys, boy needs to fall back. He's gonna get shot. Dispatch the sentries. Yes, sir. The sentries? You have more of them? Hopefully they're not poisoned by kaijus, but uh, they're not going to make things easy, that's for sure. 
It is cool to see them, and the cannon is nice. But guys, they're gonna shoot boy! You need to make contact! Don't smile! They're going to shoot you! Oh, for flips. Make contact! It's really great, by the way. I can't believe we're finally here. But they're gonna shoot you! Don't! With the honors! He's not gonna listen? Atlas destroyer should have been detonated after the fall. It was, sir. This could be a No, it was. Just explain who they are. Oh no, they're gonna Category 6 on approach. Defcon 2. Oh, flip when I tell you idiots. Don't be smiles. Wait, you said six. There's only five. I told you they were going to shoot you. Oh, never mind, that was six. I mean, I was being an idiot. But... Explain! Who you are! No, stop! Help! No, 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 no! Oh, flip! Jesus! That's helpful! Really useful. Not sure it'll work, but it's useful. Please! Keep talking, you're on the radio! Oh, no, boy. Stop, stop, stop the radio! Use the radio, use the radio! Oh, thank you. Why do you just, uh, thank you for saying that now? Now you cease fire. You need to fire again. Just aim at the big one. Of course she's not dead, because why would she? Ooh, she took the mask out. How spooky. Let's see how messed up your face is. Voldemort. That's the vibe I'm getting. Jesus. Atlas is forked. Well, I'm part of the saber chain. Ugh. Thank you. You have missiles. Where are the sentries? Oh boy, he turned back into a boy. That makes explaining that easier. That stops now. So apparently the PTSD is literally because she's had direct confrontations with him. To the point where you know the head priestess enough to have these conversations. Fury. Come on, May. You know what to do. Good job, May. But you were fooled. Come on, guys. Come on, Taylor. Channel some of that hurt in now. Ugh. Where are those sentries? Did you once again? Shut up, Voldemort chick. Help, boy, please. Eat her, please. No, no, don't lose that arm again. Oh, they lost it again. No, 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 no. Don't pop that off. Thank you. Thank you very much, boy. Very much appreciated. She deserved it. Honestly, she deserved to be eaten, but uh, better than nothing. Oh, that's it. Haley, you have been the heart of this journey. Oh, she's saying bye. We would not have survived without you. I knew this was gonna happen. That's for sure. Taylor, despite what you believe, through all of this, you have grown. You have owned your mistakes. And you have shown great leadership in getting us this far. It has been an honor. And great, Lowell. No, no, stay in the pods. This is a big blast. Two. One. Hi, Lowell. Here they are going back out to how the first movie ends, huh? With our main Jaeger having to detonate. You just can't keep the Eggers, that's for sure. Aircraft. Great. You really should have sent those sentries you had. That would have been helpful. Thank you, sir. Oh, you have many questions. I have lots of questions too. That this show will not. That includes our mother. Won't get into. No. No. No, she was no. No! The whole last episode hurts so much more now! Together now. No, you're not! No! I ain't expecting this bittersweet nonsense. No! She would have made Why? Look, why do this show? Shock factor? No, you could have just let her live. He's like, fine. 
I don't trust this kid, but I'll, I'll let it go for a bit. That's what that sigh was. You know, I'm okay with bittersweet stuff sometimes, but this isn't. And because things couldn't exactly get worse, my camera died sometime during this. And I didn't notice because I was caught up with the episode. I really apologize for that. I don't know when it happened yet. You guys have already seen it. You'll just, like previous times this has happened, you'll just see, hear my voice over the episode. And that was it. The finale of Pacific Rim the Black. Final approach. It was a solid ending, that's for sure. As much as I complained, as much as I was saddened, as much as the killing off the mother really pained my heart, right? Overall, this was a this was a show I really enjoyed. It is a worthy addition to the Pacific Rim franchise, in my eyes, at least. But come on. Bittersweet endings like this, where one character, just one character, dies desperately close to the end. It hurts more than anything, right? And, you know, maybe in some places I can forgive it, where it's like uh, Voltron, for example, right? Princess Alora gives her life to save the universe. Like, I can forgive that kind of bittersweet ending, despite knowing how much I hate it, because her life meant something, right? She did it for something, and this case, she didn't. Mom, Brina, she... I know she tried to help, and in that trying to help that she got herself killed, but it's stupid decisions that got her hurt fighting that dog. She could have just ran. It feels too much like they wanted a shock moment like last season, where they couldn't have everything end perfectly happy, right? So, last season's shock moment was the you know, radio detonation next to his head. This season's shock moment was that happy ending, nah, pull the rug out under you moment where Brina died in the con pod. And I just, I don't know if it was really necessary to anything we saw here. But that's just me being hurt talking. Besides that, one of my biggest issues with this season as a whole was that it felt rushed if anything, right? I have too many questions that I still need answering, right? This cult of witches, right? I just needed a bit more explaining of how they worked. I just, I just need a little more time, right? I think we could have given this show an, an, another season. He didn't have to end it with two. But he'd given it another six episodes and it would have done fine. If more with these characters, more time to, a little more story running across Australia, but you, you didn't do that, right, and I have the biggest questions about how the hell these sisters even work, right, how did you know boy was a thing, how did drinking this much kaiju precursor nonsense mess with you, how are you controlling kaiju, it just, it just seemed hokey's in, right, and I will say, one that, without a doubt, the worst part of this show are the kaiju, sisters of the kaiju. Because they're just shoved in, right? And we're just supposed to accept how they do things. And I, I could have used more, like, explanation. First season of this show was really great, right? These kids fudge up, they're home is destroyed, they need to get out in a barely functioning Jaeger, right? And they, you know, have to deal with monsters, both kaiju and human. It's a great season. And this one, it, the sisters muddled, muddled it down. Right? I still don't know why you they went through the whole show and dance of, you know, attaching a tick to boy to bring him to their base when they could have just grabbed him he wasn't in kaiju size right maybe if he was at the size of the kaiju or something but he wasn't and 
stuff like that, right? Just to make it very clear, I can accept plot holes, right? I am really great at trying to use the barest of information to explain away weird little gaps in plot. I do it all the time in Marvel and Star Wars. I, I enjoy doing it. It's when I can't do that is when, is when I don't like it when it's a real issue, right? And you have to be really, really, really bad not to do that, right? I can turn even like the barest thread of a sentence into a full-on justification. And there, we didn't even get that. Nothing explained why they did that. I don't want to go more into that. I think you get my point, and that's what's important, right? <laughs> I don't want to go into a whole rant because I'm just not in the mood, <laughs> just to be fair. And, you know, it's not like that many people are going to be watching this anyway. <sighs> I mean, I hope you are. If you are, that would be great. But overall, like I said, overall, I did enjoy this show. Knowing the mom's fate is going to make it very hard for me to come back to it ever again. Right. I still think that um, they shouldn't have done that. They, no. Right. Like, if I could, I would 100%, right, chop up the episodes and have it end with that happy ending. Right. Have it end happy. But I'm just rambling, repeating myself. Overall, this is a great addition to the Pacific Rim franchise. I'm going to enjoy it, watching it. I hope there's more, right? Pacific Rim is just such a cool thing to come back to. And I hope, you know, sometime in the future, someone decides to, you know, revive it again. If you've been watching all my reactions to this show, thank you so much. You don't know how much I appreciate you. Uh, it's... <laughs> it helps me feel like I'm not a crazy person talking to a camera when I see those numbers go up and I see that people are actually enjoying what I'm doing. And it's just really appreciated, right? Thank you so much for watching and going on this journey with me. What was your favorite part of this episode? What was your favorite part of this season? What was your favorite part of this show? Over here is whatever YouTube decides to show you. Over here is a playlist of my videos. And on my face is the subscribe button. Like, comment, subscribe. Criticize even. I don't mind. See ya.